Welcome to Plant 3D with the Experts. My name is Quentin Contreras. I'm a technical support specialist for Plant 3D and PNID, and I work for Autodesk. Today, I want to discuss with you where to get help when working with Plant 3D and PNID. So to begin, we'll actually start looking into the program itself. So when you start Plant 3D or PNID for the first time, you'll notice at the top of the screen, there is an option with the little circle with the question mark in the, in the center. If you pull this down, there's an option here to go to help. If you click on that, that's going to take you to the help screen that comes with the install of Plant 3D. Here in the help screen, you can type in various items that might be associated with what you need help with. There's also some other information related here to where you can go through and get help with any of the other parts of the program that, that you might be looking for. So that is one option. So this is that this can actually also be found through looking on the web as well for the help. So if we go to our web browser, this information is also available on the web. So if you don't have access to the help through the program at the time, you can always go online and look for the help as well here. And like I said, all you have to do is simply type in your keyword, and then that'll take you to what you need help with. So for instance, if I wanted some information on ISO. So once I start typing it in, it kind of gives me some options that I can select from. And the more I type in, it'll filter through and give me additional options as well on things I can select. So that would be a good resource to start out with first, if you're having some just general questions about the workflow that you're trying to do with using Plant 3D. To move on, let's go to a next resource that's available to customers to use to get additional help with Plant 3D. Let's go to the forums page. In the forums page, as listed here, the forums is a resource for users to contribute with information to PNID and Plant 3D. And there are specific forum pages for each product. So there's one set up for PNID and also one set up for Plant 3D. So depending on what part of Plant 3D or PNID you're working with, make sure you're choosing the right forum page to go to. That way users know specifically what you might be needing help with. So in the forums page, what is this resource used for is to the create a forum post to questions you might have regarding workflows or maybe issues that you're running into, or maybe you just want some general advice on maybe what other people have done using Plant 3D and PNID. So as you go through here, you can see that you can track these as well. And there's also other contributors that frequently do monitor the forums and give feedback to customers that, that go through here and, and log their issues or you know questions and so forth. So there's some good information here, good resource on a pool of users of the product that will be there to help you with any questions that you might have. So like I said, you got the PNID forum and also the Plant 3D forum is a great resource for those type of uh, questions you know, that you need additional um, help with. And also, the thing to note about the forums is that once you post your question, um, what will happen is if you find that you have an issue with something, once you get an accepted solution to it, you could mark it as solved. And once you mark it as solved, you'll notice that these green check marks here. So these are actually forum posts by users that have gone in and accepted uh, the solution to the question that they have. So, you know, you might type something, a search in here for an issue that you might having or questions you might have, and then you could see that the ones with the with the green check by them are the ones that are solutions. So you might go to those first to look at. That way, you can find if the solution is going to fit your needs specifically with what you might be asking. So that's the forums. So another part of the forums is also the Plant 3D Ideas page. 
the Plant 3D Ideas page is more structured around working with the program and kind of just having special requests that you notice that aren't part of the program. PNID Plant 3D have a lot of features that are included with the, with the software package, but you will run across some things that just haven't been included yet. Developers maybe haven't got to you know, unique situations that you might be running into with specific workflows that you know, are required in your type of environment. So this is a great avenue to where you can go and you can post those ideas because once you post your idea to the, to the ideas page, then other users can look on this and they can also vote. So as developers are going through and monitoring the ideas page, they can see which items that are posted to the ideas forum and see the number of votes and see how important it is to users to get these type of enhancement or additions maybe pushed out to a future release of Plant 3D. So it's a great place to go and, and put that information and in your ideas here on the Plant PNID Ideas Forums page. So that basically covers the forums in general as one of the re other resources. So let's look at the next avenue that you might go to to get help. So here we have the Autodesk Knowledge Network. Here in the Knowledge Network, this is a repository for information that has been written by technical support specialists and also users as well that have contributed to items that they've run across with using Plant 3D. So here you can see that there are items that are written here specifically for issues that might be running into or suggestions for better workflows or just general information about how to do something. So let's take, for instance, this one that's, that's appearing here, how to create a saddle clamp in AutoCAD Plant 3D. So if we click on one of these solutions, it'll actually go through and gives an issue of what the issue is. You'll come down here and it gives solutions. And solutions often have steps on how to go through and create whatever you're trying to do or try to fix the issue. And then also some other information might be included here. These can vary, but really it's a great place to go to get those specific questions that you might be having or running into. And once again, it's a simple search on whatever you're wanting the issue, you know, whatever you're you're asking a question about. So if I want to, you know, something PNID, you know, I could type in PNID and do my search. So this is the Autodesk Knowledge Network. So this is being contributed, like I said, by Autodesk Technical Support Specialists and also users. So it's constantly being added to, and the knowledge base is constantly growing. So this is a great resource on current things that might be happening as well. Next, let's move on to the next resource that's available to get help with. That would be our AutoCAD YouTube channel. The AutoCAD YouTube channel does cover more than just AutoCAD. As some of you might be aware, AutoCAD has tool sets now, and Plant 3D and PNID are part of the tool set of AutoCAD. So if you have a question, you know, specifically that you need a visual aid with, you'd come here to the AutoCAD YouTube channel. So with the Plant 3D with the Experts video series that we recently just started, this is where you're going to find those videos that we're creating content for from technical support specialists on the Plant 3D team with Autodesk. So you would generally just do a search here and type in, if you wanted something Plant 3D related, you could type in Plant 3D. And this is going to give you videos that are associated with Plant 3D specifically. So once again, it's a great resource to go and find that information. And here I can search on this one too. And this is how the video would look with the Plant 3D with the experts, like the one you're watching right now. This is one of the first ones that was created, and this one is available to view as well. So let's go to the next resource that's available to you. 
The next resource is <clears throat> Autodesk University. As many of you might know, Autodesk puts on a yearly conference called Autodesk University. Some of these take place around the globe, but the main one is located every year in the United States, and it consists of thousands of customers coming in and getting content from from their, their peers, from Autodesk employees, and from other resources. So there are a lot of resources for Plant 3D that have been presented at Autodesk University. These presentations are either lectures that are given or, or presentations going through workflows and specific um, portions of Plant 3D. And then there's also labs that are given as well, where you can actually sit down at Autodesk University and go through a workflow on how to do something perhaps. So here's <clears throat> with this link you'll be able to find all the material that's associated with those classes that are given. Typically that's going to include the video of the actual presentation as it was given at Autodesk University and also all the data sets. So that includes the handouts, if there were any uh, physical files that were used, you could download those and use those and go through the class itself on your own time. So another great resource and great content from very experienced users that attend Autodesk University that present Plant 3D content. So let's go on to the next resource. The next resource is a favorite of mine because this one is run by Auto desk plant 3d pnid technical support specialist so this is called in the pipes in the pipes is where the technical support specialist for plant 3d and pnid come and put content and sh to share with customers and users of plant 3d and pnid here you'll find workflows special workflows that we've run into with customers just needing some general help or just general tool trips, tips and tricks to help customers with specific items that they might not be aware of. We're always wanting to share the content and to be good with what we can give to you. So next let's move on to the next resource that's available. And this one's called Linda. At lynda.com, there are training and tutorials that you can go through. Another great resource for if you're just starting out with Plant 3D and need that part of getting started. And we generally do recommend that with new Plant 3D customers to get some type of training before diving into the program. So let's look at the last one that I wanted to show you. And this is kind of for our um, technical support and reaching out to us because we do like to help customers. So this basically shows you how to get technical support from for your Autodesk product. Specifically, what we're talking about is Plant 3D and PNID. So as a subscription customer, you do have the access to get technical support. So you can go through our knowledge network, which I showed earlier and you can go to the contact support page. Using that, there's a couple of steps to go through on using your product to where you can reach out in contact support. You'd of course select your product, select the version, and then sign on, and it'll go through a couple of more questions to where you can either send out an email to have a technical support specialist help you with that issue, or you can schedule a call with technical support specialists to where you can see availability for technical support specialists with that specific product. That way you can arrange a specific time that they can call you back at your convenience. It's a great tool and it's a great resource to reach out to a technical support specialist who can help you with problems with the software that you might be running into. Typically, Reaching out to a technical support specialist is for issues that 
maybe you were working with Plant 3D in a specific way and it's not working that way anymore. Or maybe it might be you've reaching a, an error that's coming up and not know what specifically that's related to. Or it might just be something in the program that's impacting your day-to-day -day work, which wasn't before. So this is when you would log a technical support request. That way we can help you with this and look deeper on what the issue might be. That way we can, you can continue to work as normal. So these are some of the resources to where you can get help with using Plant 3D. I hope this was useful and I hope this provided some additional information that maybe you didn't know about on how to get help. Thank you.